What is up guys? It is Retro Mushroom and today I'm going to be bringing you guys an Ubers match. This is an Ubers match that I had against Moonrock. Now, this is using the same team that I was using in my Life Pokemon Showdown video that I posted yesterday. So if you guys want to know how this team operates and uh, their sets, make sure you guys go ahead and check out that video. Its link will be in the description below. But uh, anyways, main threats on my opponent's team, uh, he's running a Fortress, a Landorus, and a Palkia. Those are three major threats to my team because Fortress, for one, it can set up Stealth Rocks. And as you can see on my team, my team does not appreciate Stealth Rocks in the slightest. Um, also, you know, Landorus is just a powerhouse in the sand with its uh, powerful Stone Edges slash Earthquakes. And uh, Palkia is just a very, very heavy hitter. Um, just it has a very, very, uh, varied <laughs> move pool. Um, has Fire Blast, you know, Thunder, all that shenanigans. Uh, as well as its dual stab. Um, and Arceus, I guess I can label as a threat because I don't know what set it is. I don't know what plate it's holding, if it's even holding one at all. And, uh,. Yes, so uh, that's enough for the team analysis, so let's go ahead and get right into the match. Alright, so starting off here, I'm going to go ahead and lead off with my Groudon, where he's going to go ahead and lead off with his Tyranitar. Now, I'm just going to go for the safe Earthquake because I want this Tyranitar dead because I don't like Sand Up. I'd rather have Sun Up for my pokes, uh, such as Reshiram. But uh, he's going to go ahead and switch out Predict in the Earthquake, which is a good play. Um, and he brings in his Landorus because uh, he's flying type, he's obviously going to be immune to it. But uh, here, I'm going to stay in uh, and predict him to go for the U-turn uh, because that would be the obvious play because Earthquake isn't really doing that much. I mean, so I predicted a U-turn, so I went for an Earthquake and he just stays in. So I'm assuming this thing's Choice Scarf because why else would you use a Landorus and Ubers unless you are Scarfed because... Uh, I don't know, it just makes sense to me. So I go ahead and switch into my Lugia here, um, and he goes for another Earthquake, and then he switches out, which means that thing's Choice Scarf. Now, he brings in his, uh, I set the Reflect as he brings in his Fortress. Now, predicting the Stealth Rocks, I'm gonna go ahead and bring in my Reshiram because I wanna be in before Rocks, you know? But he goes for the Toxic now. This is very, very bad because, um, he has Sandstorm up. I am a Life Orb Flame Charge set. Uh, so with Poison, Life Orb, and Sandstorm, my Reshiram is going to be worn down uh, very, very quickly. Um, so I'm going to go for the Blue Flare. I meant to go for, I was thinking of going for Draco Meter, predicting this thing to come in. Um, but I was thinking he'd go into Titar because it's most likely specially defensive and I would have liked the burn on Tyranitar, but nope, he just switches into Palkia, which is a good play on his part. And uh, I'm being worn down with Toxic, Life Orb, and Sand, like I said. So, I mean, I'm going to have to switch up, bring in my Lugia. I am at max HP, so, I mean, multi-scale is still up. Which means uh, I'm going to take that Spatial Ren like a fucking boss. Now, wanting to get a lot of damage on this Palkia, I'm going to go for the Dragon Tail. But uh, I guess he sees that coming, goes ahead and switches into his Tyranitar. And, uh, yeah, I Dragon Tail him out into this damn fortress again. So now I'm going to switch out into a Pokemon that can most likely take it on, that being my Rayquaza. Um, because this Rayquaza has the V-Create. And, uh, he sets up a layer of spikes, which leads me to believe that his Tyranitar has the Stealth Rocks and not, um, the, uh, Fortress. And uh, so I'm going to go for the Swords Dance on the Switch because I know he's not going to stand to take V Create. He goes to do his Palkia predicting the V Create. And I do not go for that. I go for the Swords Dance. And I'm going to go for the Extreme Speed and take out that Palkia because I am Life Orb. Um, that's going to do a lot of damage. But now in comes um, Landorus. And uh, I'm predicting the Stone Edge. So I'm going to go ahead and switch out into my. Uh, Grad on here to be a mute or to be resistant to the stone edge and to weaken its power because uh sand won't be up for his uh sand forest ability so i'm gonna go ahead and go for the t way of predicting the switch as he does do just that he brings in his fortress now seeing fortress here i'm thinking once again you know i'm gonna go ahead and bring in either reshiram or my rayquaza i decided to bring in reshiram because uh 
it's uh I have the Turbo Blaze ability, so I mean I can you know take him out with a blue flare no matter what, even though he does have sturdy, uh, because Turbo Blaze acts as mold break mold breaker for those of you who don't know. So I'm gonna go ahead and go for a flame charge, um, just boosting my speed and whatnot. I know even if I go for a blue flare on Titar, it's not gonna be doing that much. Now here I figured, you know what? He's probably gonna go for Stealth Rocks anyway. So I mean, I might as well just go for an Outrage to try and take this thing out because I am, uh, I'm not invested in attack, but I mean, Outrage still does a lot of damage to this T-Tar. I'm assuming it's max HP, um, max special defense, so I mean, it is going to be able to live it, but it doesn't take it as well as he, as I, th I mean, as he probably thought it would. I mean, I don't know what I'm trying to say there, but I mean, point is I did a lot of damage on T-Tar, and I'm going to go ahead and bring in my Grout on here. Now, I'm gonna go for the... I think I go for the Stone Edge predicting the switch, yes. So I go for the Stone Edge as he brings in Lugia, which is fucking awesome, because uh, pr nice predictions are nice, I guess. Um, so, yes, yeah, so I go for another Stone Edge and I miss, and he goes for the Whirlwind. That fucking sucks, because that Stone Edge would have done a hell of a lot of damage because multi-scale was broken. And, uh, yes, yeah, so he Whirlwinds me out into my... Dialga. Now, I don't know if this Dialga or this Lugia carries Earth Power, but nonetheless, I am going to stay in and go for a Draco Meteor, predicting him to um, go for another Whirlwind, and he does do just that. Um, yeah, does that. And uh, now, here is something that I thought would happen. Now, I thought that he would, uh, you know, I thought this Outrage would take out the Lugia from, uh, you know, full or from half rather but it doesn't and I was thinking well even if he does uh, live it there's not much he could do to me right I mean um, he's probably has like all support moves you know but uh, he shows me he has the ice beam and I'm just like no fucking way this guy has an ice beam but uh, I'm gonna go into Palkia now and uh, I believe I just fire off a Draco Meteor I mean nothing much to it um, yes I do go for the Draco Meteor as he does bring in his fortress. Now, it doesn't really matter because on the next turn I can't take it out with a Fire Blast. Um, for those of you who did not watch the live Pokemon Showdown video, this is a specially defensive Palkia. Um, if you want to learn more about it, like I said, go ahead and check the video out. I love how I'm plucking it twice in the same video, but hey, man, I have a feeling questions are going to be asked in the comments about this Palkia, but anyway. Um, so I take that fortress out with a fire blast, and uh, in comes this thing. Now, looking at the color of uh, Arceus here, I'm thinking, well, this thing looks like uh, Arceus Dark. Um, and this is just me being stupid, because um, I'm under the impression that this is Arceus Dark. This, uh, this point in the match, because um, he goes for judgment and it's super effective, you know? I'm like, okay, this is definitely Dark. You know, because uh, he goes for combine, goes for judgment. Now here, I'm gonna bring in my Dialga, and I'm gonna go for da 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 da. I'm gonna go for Aura Sphere, and uh, I see that it doesn't affect, and I'm just thinking, are you fucking kidding me? This thing is Arceus Ghost, so he's gonna go ahead and take me out with a plus one Fire Blast, and uh, since I'm not defensive, that thing's gonna die. Now here, all I can really do at this point is just go for a Joker Meteor with my. Uh, non-invested Palkia at this point. Um, fire off a Dragon Meter, but like I said, since I am, uh, you know, especially defensive, I'm going to be able to take the Judgment, but I mean, Fire Blast isn't going to be doing that much, so I mean, it's whatever. I don't know why I went for Fire Blast over Draco Meteor. I guess I'm just weird like that. It didn't really matter anyways, even if I got a crit, I don't think I would be able to take him out. But I think this is my last, this is my Groudon, and I think that's going to die to a Judgment. So, yeah, once again in my Wi-Fi battling career, I get swept by Ghost Arceus. So anyways, guys, if you guys enjoyed that match, go ahead and leave a like, a comment, and a subscribe. And uh, this has been Retro Mushroom, and I will see you guys later. Alright? Peace!